Good evening and welcome to Tonight at the Q. We're still doing Gershwin, George and Ira Gershwin, and we also have with us tonight a special lovely lady, Cindy Baker. Hi, look at your cute little <laughs> smile. Oh, uh, what an actress. <laughs> You're, um, did you just, fly, you flew in, Cindy, uh, in addition to being an actress, of course, and singer, not a lot of that going on right now. Mm -hmm. So you're, you've been a flight attendant for a while. And so, years. so you're, did you, when did you get back in town? Um, I can't remember. I don't know what day it is. <laughs> <laughs> no. But I mean like hours ago? No, I got, I had two days off actually. I leave for Israel tomorrow if anyone wants to come along. I'm sure there are seats open on the plane. <laughs> <laughs> By the time this is, you'll see this, you can't go. So <laughs> exactly. this is pre-recorded. <laughs> but anyway, we're glad that she's with us tonight. Cindy and I uh, have done lots of shows together. Um, what, did you, you did grow up in Kansas City? No. no you grew I didn't. Up, you're from Illinois. Yes. Southern Illinois. Southern, uh, but I've lived many Southern places. Illinois. Southern Illinois. Uh, but you did Anything Goes. I did. My and Brian first show McGinnis. in Kansas City yes. was Anything Goes. Brian with McGinnis. Brian. Did he direct it or did you he choreograph it? He directed it. Shirley Marley was the choreographer. Yes. It's my first introduction to theater in Kansas City. And that's when I saw you. And uh, so here we are. Here we'll we start are. off with, uh, well, uh, I was going to say a, a song from Crazy For You, but as it happens, all of these songs that you're doing are from Crazy <laughs> For You. Yes, they are. <laughs> Uh. There's a saying old says that love is blind Still we're often told seek and ye shall find So I'm gonna seek a certain lad I've had in mind Looking everywhere haven't found him yet he's the big affair I cannot forget only man I ever think of with regret I'd like to add his initial to my monogram tell me I'm longing to see I hope that he turns out to be someone to watch over me I'm a little lamb who's lost in the world
song. <laughs> it's wonderful. Um, so tell, you know several people who were involved in, have been involved with yes. Crazy For You. Yes. Bruce Adler. And Bruce Adler, who, bless his heart, he has passed away right. from liver cancer. Mm -hmm. Um, Jody Benson, who was the voice of the Little Mermaid, she was um, Polly on Broadway, and she was my sorority sister. Try Del Delta Delta Delta. Let me help you, help you, help you, at Madison <laughs> University in Decatur, Illinois, way back <laughs> before. Delta she was a Delta woman. Delta. Let me <laughs> help you, help you, help you. Yep. But you work for United. <laughs> <laughs> Delta. Delta. Oh, I never put that together. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Don't yeah, think, sorority yeah. girls, really. Well, whatever. <laughs> yeah. Really smart. I'm not really blonde. <laughs> you're not really blonde? No. But your hair I'm is. Darker. <laughs> yeah. But today, I mean, it might be blonde. Yeah, I'm yeah. blonde. Um, but you did, you were ta talking to me and you said you did, you went to school with her, but were you also at an audition with her? Yeah, well. Or no, she was already in the show or something and you auditioned yes. for it. For Crazy For You? No. No, for Joseph. For Joseph, yes. Jody was... She See, Cindy... Uh, sorry to interrupt. But Cindy's done theater all over New York and Oklahoma and all over the country and everywhere and uh, worked with lots of different people. But you auditioned for Joseph and the Ama Amazing Technical Dream Co. in Chicago? In Chicago, yes. Yes. And, and I made Jody it was already... Yes. Jody was in the show. I made it to the final callback for the understudy of the narrator. But you cheated. Yes, she taught me to dance the day before the audition. So <laughs> I knew that. So out of all the people... So they then, thought you could really do yes, it. Yes, they thought that I was like fabulous until it came time to cast it. Uh-oh. And then the three girls that were left, one was me, one was another girl that I saw, and the other girl I had never seen in my life. And, and she wasn't good. She, she was horrible. She wasn't good. She messed up the dance and she said the S word in front. I was like, oh, I got this role. And well... No, I didn't. She was the musical director's girlfriend. So she got the role, not me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, that's showbiz. <laughs> it's hard. Girl. It's hard, but you've done, other, you've done other things. Yes. But you've always, you did Anything Goes, and you've done those big kind of roles and mm -hmm. things, you know. I mean, the yes. starring, leading lady, brassy, uh -huh. belty. But you never did Polly. No, I never did Polly. But you I always, always wanted, wanted to. to. So I'm doing it now. Right. I was going to say, but so I this is... I have done a lot of big roles in my life. And so I have 14 chickens. And each chicken is named after <laughs> a role that I, I did. <laughs> a chicken lady. She lives on a farm. <laughs> yeah, I don't I want you to think she had... She doesn't take them on the plane with her. <laughs> so, yeah. I'll, I, I some, love my chickens. Some so. women have cats. <laughs> Cindy Their has, personality is just like, I have a Lola from Damn Yankees, and she has like this crazy she does whatever hair. she wants. Yes, yeah, she's so cute. <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> oh, all right. Here we go. And, uh, how about what rhythm? What song are we doing now? <laughs> oh, yeah, that one. I know that song. Yeah. <laughs> Days. Days can be sunny. With never a sigh. Oh, what am I doing? I don't know. That How one? about that? Okay, that's that good. That key? Yeah, that's good. <laughs> oh, um. Days can be sunny with never a sigh. Don't need what money can buy. Birds in the trees sing their day full of song. Why shouldn't we sing along? Chipper all the day, happy with my lot. How do I get that way? Look at what I've got. I've got rhythm, I've got music. I got my man who could ask for anything more. I got daisies in green pastures. I got my man who could ask for anything more. Oh, my trouble.
Is that me? Am I your man? Oh, you I knew it was my time to play. <laughs> <laughs> always my time to play. You're always my man. <laughs> oh, think please. About that <laughs> no, you have a, you have a, you got a man. I do have a man, yes. You have I a do. great guy. Mm. <laughs> He's a good guy. <laughs> yeah. Right? Yes. Yeah. So you have, you have the farm and an apartment and a plane. Mm-hmm. World travel. Everywhere. And how's I that? I mean, that's going pretty well, right? Yes. The airlines are doing very well. I mean, coming out of it and very safe. You know, we do a lot to protect everyone. I was going to say, I saw, everyone. I saw, I remember when it, with all this craziness first started, you posted a couple of, po of photos and the airports were empty and it was so sad and everything. Very sad. And then... When we were rehearsing, we did re actually rehearse. Um, <laughs> One day. <laughs> um, you came in and you were like, oh my gosh, I was almost late because you couldn't make it through the airport. Yes. There were a lot so. of people. There are a lot of people now. But now with the new restrictions for Thanksgiving, I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. Who's going to be flying? I, I well, But see, Thanksgiving will have already happened by the time oh, you yeah. saw this. So pretend like it's live. Whoops. Thanksgiving next year <laughs> will be just fabulous. Christmas, I mean. Yeah, Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. Mm. You would have been great Polly, though. You'd still be a great Polly. If I could tap. I can tap a little. I can tap when you Shirley Marley teaches me something. I can tap. She's, <laughs> she's amazing. She is amazing. I love you, Shirley. She's, <laughs> she's amazing. But... Uh, when you did, uh, when you did anything goes, you had, you like blackmailed a child or something. I did. Yes, little Eric Huffman <laughs> was a little boy at the time. Who he's not. And a he's boy. like, he's been in, I don't Touring, know, Book of Mormon Book of and all Mormon, kinds of yes. stuff. Yes, and I made him stay after, and I videoed. And he was like, what, fourteen or fifteen at the time? Oh, he's probably eleven or twelve. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And he, but he knew all. He could pick oh. all the tap stuff up and. Easily. I'd go, slow down, I'd be taping his feet. Okay, one, one more time, <laughs> I'd make him stay after. It's like I was punishing him. But hey, he made me look good. <laughs> oh, I know, I took, six, I, took, I took six tap lessons from Shirley. <laughs> and uh, she pulled me aside and said, you know, you're really, you're really good at playing the piano. <laughs> And I sold my tap shoes to one of her other <laughs> students. Aww. I know. So tap was not for me. Oh, but not for me. Old man sunshine. <laughs> I knew that. <laughs> you just didn't know what I was going to stop talking. Oh, I wasn't sure of that. Okay, here we go. Old man sunshine, listen you. Never tell me dreams come true, just try it, and I'll start a riot. I'm certain it's the final curtain. I never want to hear from any cheerful Pollyannas who tell you fate supplies a mate. It's all bananas. They're writing songs of love, but not for me. A lucky star's above, but not for me. With love to lead the way, I found more skies of gray than any Russian play could guarantee. I was a fool to fall and get that way. I ho, alas, and oh, so lack a day. Although I can't dismiss the memory of He's not for me. Mm. 
It started off so swell that let's pretend it all began so well. But what an end! The climax of a plot should be a marriage knot, but there's no knot for me. That's so Aww. sad. I'm gonna cry. I love your necklace. Well, thank you. That was my Isn't that grandmother's. pretty? It was your grandmother's. My grandmother's. Yep. And they go really well with Walmart pants. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> but they're fabulous pants. Thank you. These are my Walmart pants. <laughs> Only the best for <laughs> Kent. <laughs> Celebration. <laughs> oh, honey. <laughs> I was buying a TV, actually, and I was going to check out, and I walked by, and I saw these sparkly pants hanging on the rack, and I said, Something I shiny, have just these. you always, shiny things. I know. And I actually what? found... What? Sometimes I buy things, and I never wear them. But I bought these, and now I'm wearing them. <laughs> do you ever do that thing where they... What's the thing where you sell, resell your clothes? Oh, Online? No. no? I know you just, that. like... I have a she shack, and it's full of clothes. <laughs> it's like, yeah, terrible. I have things probably from your clothes hoarder high school that I'm gonna wear that someday and I well of course you are I mean you will shoes five million pair well there yeah. you go um, I was trying to think you've done a lot of shows here um, one of my favorites though was talking about when you said this song was so sad and making me cry was watching you um, during the Barry Bet and Broadway show Mm. and Love that singing show. Wind Beneath My Wings. And you were at the end of the piano in that blue dress and that beautiful light. And that oh, was such a great show. That was a great show. So we can't wait song. to get back and do that again, which is where you all come in. You can help us with that. You can go um, and make a donation on Facebook or go to our website and make a donation or sign up for a monthly membership and things. It really... It very much helps us um, do these kinds of things until we're ready to, to uh, yeah, got to keep the arts alive until we're ready to be back together again. But in, uh, in the meantime, oh, I was going to say, one of, the, one of my favorite things, you, wh what took you to Oklahoma? Were you um, work, you, did a job take you there? Or do, I mean, somebody you knew? Yes, my ex -husband. You weren't living there. Yes. No, you were living yes. there because it's deep. Okay, so, sorry. Uh, but... Uh, so you started doing theater there. But what brought David Friedman? David Friedman is a wonderful, wonderful songwriter. We've done his things before. And uh, you were doing uh, I Listen to My Heart. I actually moved to Kansas City. And some, I had done a lot of um, songs for um, when I lived in Oklahoma. For I did a, the gay man's chorus, and that was when the AIDS. Oh, thing I forgot. Was so... I forgot that was a benefit. That show yes. was a benefit for the chorus. Well, I had done a lot of um, David Friedman songs before I even knew him. Um, Help is on the way. Mm. So I did a lot of um, for for the AIDS. Um, sure, that was a raising big, money right. and doing things. Um, and I loved him, and I loved all of his songs, and listened to my heart. And um, so somebody had called me. I already moved to Kansas City, and they said hey, there's an audition coming up for Listen to My Heart, the songs of David Friedman, and he will be in it. We would like for you to come and audition because we know you know a lot of his songs. So that's how that happened. I went back to Tulsa. I auditioned for him, and um, yeah, it was, it was an amazing experience. I remember going down, uh, because I don't remember who hosted you, but we were in some mansion it was Mitch, house. Yeah, Mitch, he was the producer. Um, yeah, and like every bedroom had its own mini fridge yeah. and it was I like lived set up like a hotel. And David, David and I both had a bedroom in that house, so it was really nice. To but you were really sweet. You took me to the opening night party there or something. Yes, it was really nice. It was very, it was, but it was a wonderful, it's a wonderful show, and you can get the recording of it called Listen to My Heart. I bought the, I bought his songbook there. It was like 150 bucks, but it's like everything he's ever written. Yes. Which is amazing, because it's everything from art songs to 
choral works to these beautiful, beautiful songs. And he's such a nice. Maybe someday you could do Listen to My Heart, the songs of David Friedman in the theater. Well, I talked to him about it, but at the time, you know, he wanted to come do it. Mm -hmm. And we couldn't fit it into a schedule and everything. Right. Um, but it would be a perfect, perfect, perfect for, for space. this, yes. for, our, for our theater. Um, not for the lobby. No. I mean, the <laughs> lobby's the nice, but we'll do it in the theater. <laughs> but totally off subject because yeah. this is a really bad segue. Yeah, oh my God. Yes. <laughs> I don't know what. We're, <laughs> see, beforehand, they're like, what are we going to talk about? I don't know. We'll just, <laughs> just, we'll just talk. But um, <laughs> this is another song from Crazy for You that just happens to fit your personality. It's called Na Naughty Baby. <laughs> <laughs> that is not very nice. It's no, but she's naughty. a good girl. Yeah, she is a good girl. She's I a... love this song. <laughs> <laughs> if you want a girl who's sentimental, one who will never set you in a whirl, one who will be always sweet and gentle, I am not that kind of girl. Yep. But if you prefer a rather swift one, if you think you'd like to run around with a bright one, I am just the right one. Naughty baby, naughty baby, who will teach? I can show the way and know the way to please you. If you're wanting a beginner, I shan't do. I can make a saint a sinner when I want to. If you find the peace of mind a rather slow, Then you ought to find a naughty one you know, dear. But you'll never meet another who will be a naughty baby, naughty baby, just like me. Isn't that what he does in the show? Yes. <laughs> he kind of... Because <sighs> <laughs> she comes over and touches him and stuff, but we can't do that, thankfully, do because that. of social distancing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> if you find the simple cut Another who will be a naughty baby, naughty baby, naughty baby, naughty baby, naughty baby, naughty baby, just like me. Uh. <laughs> I had to stop her during rehearsal. She was going to climb on top of the, the piano. piano. That was my, yeah. Her blocking that she worked out on the plane. Oh. Oh, you know, my. one of my favorite songs that I ever did here for you was um, I Love a Piano. Oh, yes, oh, and you God. did. I love that song, and I you, loved to be on the piano. That was very nice. Very being nice. on the piano is like a... Like a uh, Rite of passage or something for women <laughs> here, you know. My favorite on the piano scene, though, was when, who was it that tapped on top of the piano? Ryan. Oh, my God. Uh, that was amazing. Oh, uh, during t uh, tapestry. And, but luckily, he's like, he's short, like I am. And I, 
I was out of that show. Molly Jessup played that show. Okay. And I remember every night when I would come to see it, he jumped up on the piano and started tap dancing. And the whole audience looked at me like, <laughs> do you know what he's doing to your piano? <laughs> but you know, the piano that's in the theater, I, was not, I didn't own it when we first started it. I was renting oh. back in 1995. I rented it from the tune shop. A uh, wonderful, wonderful guy who used to run that place and own it. And he gave me a really good deal on it. Um, and it came time to renew the lease or something. I don't know what it was. But, you know, we had taken off, like, part of the lid, and women had sat on it, and sequins had gouged, gouged the it. top, you know. But you can't tell from the audience. But it's the perfect size, and it's perfect piano. But anyway, I thought, I can't return a piano now because <laughs> I were scratched up the top. And so I went back to him, and he was so nice. I mean, I had made, like, maybe $3,000 in rent payments on it, which is nothing for a piano. And he said, well, yeah, why don't you make a couple more months and we'll just call it even. And so I bought the whole piano for like $4,000. Oh my gosh. Um, nice. He was really, really nice to us. But then I was like, okay, ladies, go at it. You can really go now. <laughs> I own it. <laughs> <laughs> just scratch it up. Uh, but um, that was the only thing that we got for very little money. Everything else is expensive, so your donations are very important to us. <laughs> didn't want anyone to you think that we didn't need that money. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we're gonna wrap wrap things up. Cindy will be Do back. We, have to? we don't have to. We can stay here. Let's sing like the other. Just things like we're bide my time. No. Oh, <laughs> bad bad memory. All of a sudden, I just had a flashback. Uh, crazy for you is based on, not for you, you know this, but for you, uh, you probably know this already, but Crazy For You is based on the original Gershwin musical, Girl Crazy. Pretty much the same story. Mm -hmm. So it, they would have uh, crossovers where down of the curtain, because they would close the curtain and they would change the scenery behind while something was going on in front of it. And I was part of the cowboy quartet that sang all of the Biden My Time things for every scene. That was the only song we sang <laughs> over and over and over again. And I kept, it was like, this is, a, you know, this, we don't need this because there's machinery now that can change the scenes, you know, <laughs> but we had to do it. And the cowgirl quartet came on and we sang when it's cactus time in Arizona with them. And we were supposed to lift them up off of cement park benches, but that got changed. <laughs> and I was like, I can't be singing can't and imagine. lifting things <laughs> no. at the same time. But in any case, we're going to wrap things up. We'll be back. Thank you so much, Cindy. Thank you for having me. I'm thank glad you, you were listening. here. You worked us in. Show. Yes, thank you all at home. Thanks for donating and watching and telling your friends. We'll be back again. We'll keep you posted about what's going on. But for one, uh, we'll do one more. One more song. Our romance won't end on a sorrowful note, though by tomorrow you're gone. <laughs> the song is ended, but as the songwriter wrote. Who's the songwriter? Irving Berlin. And we're doing Gershwin. No, I don't know what. The melody lingers <laughs> on. They may take you from me, please. Please, I'll miss your fond caress. You will. But though they take you from me, I'll still possess The way I wear your hat The way you sip your tea The memory of all that No, no, they can't take that away from me The way you your smile, smile just beams The way you sing off-key <laughs> The way you haunt my dreams No, no, they can't take that away from me We may never, never meet again On the bumpy road to love Still I'll always, always keep the memory of The way you hold your knife oh. The way we dance till three 
away, it changed my life. No, no, they can't take that away from me. No, no, they can't take that away from me. Again on the bumpy road to love Still always, always keep the memory of The way you hold your knife The way we dance till three The, the way, way you changed, changed my life No, no, they can't take that away from me No, they can't take that away They can't take that away they can't take that away from me. Good night. Good night.